Mastering the audio in your videos is the last step of the audio editing process. It's where you sweeten it up a little bit, you add a little extra sauce, if you will, and just make that audio sound the best that you can. Today's video is sponsored by Artlist, but I'm gonna take you through the mastering process that I use, some things to think about, why we master it, and what we're trying to achieve by mastering our audio. Now, I think this should be done for every project, so are you mastering the audio in your videos once you're done with all your other audio editing? Uh, let me know, comment down below. If you don't have a project that you can practice mastering, I'm gonna provide a file for you. For the members, it's gonna be free. You can go ahead and download it from my Shopify, or if you're not a member of the channel, you can pick it up for three bucks, and then you can try it out. It's gonna be the Star Wars video that we worked on a little while back with Casey. So let's jump in Resolve, let's take a look at mastering and how we can make that audio the best that we can. So if you downloaded the file that I provided or you have your own project, make sure all of your audio work is done. So all of your sound effects, your music, your dialogue, everything's in there, it's edited, it's at the proper levels that it should be set at. If you don't know what the levels are they should be at, I've got a whole video on that you can check out. But the file that I gave you is one track. So it's got everything edited together minus any mastering that I want to do. I'm going to show you the process that I would use to master this particular little video clip. So like I said, all of the other audio editing's done. Now let's jump over into Fairlight and work on some mastering. Musical notes at the bottom to jump over into Fairlight. So in Fairlight here, are a couple things that I want to consider when I'm mastering. I want to add a little extra something just to sweeten up the audio a little bit. I do that by adding a little bit of EQ. Now I also might want to use my dynamics a little bit to apply a compressor to make sure that any levels that get a little loud don't end up peaking over based on any of the other changes I might make while I'm mastering. Also in the mastering process, I take a look at my overall loudness levels to make sure that I'm close to, but not exceeding, in my case, YouTube's loudness levels, which is minus 14 LUFS or L-U-F-S. The first thing I like to do is get my loudness stuff set up. So in my loudness graph up here, I wanna make sure that for me, I'm on YouTube, but if you're mastering to a different standard, you can click on the three little dots and choose one of these other options right down here. You use whatever works for your project. Now to show the loudness scale, we can look at our numbers up here, but I also like to turn on this one, the toggle automation, and that's gonna show me my bus one down here, and it's gonna show me a graphical representation of my integrated loudness level. So I like to leave integrated on and turn on the loudness history. Now, if you don't see this part here, it may be because your window is too small. So you'd only see that. Just grab the bottom, open that up, and you should see these options right here. So the first thing I like to do when I'm mastering is kind of check my loudness levels and see where they're currently at before I make any changes. So in order to do that, I'm gonna make sure I hit reset up here as well as the start button. Then I'm just gonna play through the video and see where these levels fall. Okay, so when I let the video run, this is what our loudness graph looks like. Now I can see that I do have a little bit of headroom here where I can make everything as a whole a little bit louder. So when we talk about making everything a little bit louder, I'm not talking about going into individual tracks and working with individual you know, tracks or clips or anything like that. That should be all done already. But what I wanna do is take everything as a whole and make it a little bit louder. So there's a few different ways that I can do that. One way is to just grab my bus one slider and give it a little boost there, right? So in this case, let's say I boost it up 3 dB right here. Then I would play back through this and see where my loudness levels are. But before we do that, let's start to make a few more changes to this and let's just sweeten it up a little bit. One way that you can sweeten it up is to use a little bit of EQ to boost the low end and the high end a little bit. So I'm gonna to come to my bus one, double click my EQ, and in my EQ, this is the default settings here. I'm gonna reset it just to make sure. But what I can do is grab my point two, bring it up just above 250 hertz and boost it up just a little bit, right? My gain down here, I boosted it 1.8. You don't wanna do anything heavy handed here because it's affecting everything as a whole. You wanna make sure that you make small, small adjustments here when you're mastering. So that way you don't throw everything out of whack because you already edited all of your individual clips and tracks exactly how you want it. So now we're just adding a little sweetening, a little sauce, if you will. The other thing I like to do is grab my 0.5 here and just add a little bit to the high end, maybe starting around three to 4K. I'm just gonna boost it up a little bit. Let's say 1.4, 1.5, something like that. 
Now, these changes are going to be very subtle, and if you don't have a really good ear or good speakers to hear this on, you may not notice the difference, but I can assure you it's going to make a little bit of a difference, and it's going to make it sound a little bit better. Now, you can increase your changes here or the amount that you're changing on the EQ just so you can hear it a little bit more, but like I said, you don't want to go too heavy-handed because you've already done all of your audio work to the clips and tracks, and you don't want to throw that out of whack and mess it up. So let me go ahead and just play through a little bit of this, a little EQ before, and then I'll turn it on, see if you can hear a difference. You're late. You're late. So hopefully you guys can hear that. I'm gonna exaggerate it just a little bit more. So hopefully you can hear it a little bit easier because it is very subtle. So let's just say I exaggerate it to 3.5. And then let me just play through where they're speaking a little bit. I'm here for the droid. I'm here for the droid. Can you hear the clarity there? Just kind of makes it a little bit crisper there by boosting the high end a little, adds a little bit of the low end there, and just kind of enhances everything as a whole just a little bit. Now you could also come in, grab your 0.4 and drop the mid range down there a little bit. Depends on your clip, depends whether you like it or not. Let me just play through and you can hear the difference there of what it sounds like if I drop down those mids a little bit. I'm here for the droid. Come and take it. So now you can hear at the end there, right? We did have a little bit of clipping. You could hear the distortion there. So I'm actually going to lower down the low end a little bit because I don't want to be peaking. Lower down the top end a little bit. So I'm going to say that this is good for the EQ right now. I'm going to go ahead and close the EQ. Now, I want to make sure that as I make everything a little bit louder, if I have any parts like the, the uh, lightsabers at the end there, that they don't peak and we don't you know blow our, our audio levels there. So there's a few ways that you can do it. With all this talk about audio mastering, how can you master creating awesome videos? One way that you can do that is to use the sponsor of today's video, and that is Artlist. I love Artlist. I go there for any kind of stock footage, music, sound effects, templates, plugins. Artlist has everything you need to help elevate your videos and take them to the next level. Anytime I've needed something, I go on Artlist, I search for it, and I'm presented with tons of awesome results. Like maybe I want some rocket music. Maybe I need some kind of cool sound effect where I throw something and I break a window. Maybe I need some kind of intense music, right? Or maybe I'm just looking for video clips and stock footage to really enhance my video and just bring it to that next level because I can't get out and film everything that I might need for a particular project. You've also got voiceovers and templates and LUTs and plugins, pretty much everything that you need to work with your videos and make them awesome. So if you're interested, check them out. I'll leave a link down in the description below. And uh, with that said, let's get back to mastering our audio. And don't forget to check out Artlist for mastering the rest of your video. We could use our dynamics right here and add in just a little bit of a compressor, or you could use something like the Soft Clipper, which is an effect here that comes in DaVinci Resolve, and use that as the way to prevent anything from peaking. So let's try the soft clipper method here. I'm gonna come into my bus one, come to my effects, click on the plus, come to dynamics, Fairlight effects, and soft clipper. Now in the soft clipper here, you can just try one of the presets, which is pre-limit right here. And what that does is it sets a threshold just below peaking, and it should add a compressor so that nothing peaks over the edge. So let's see if it's working just by playing through this last little bit here. Watch right here. Okay, so it didn't look like it kicked in there, but what I can do is drop this back just a little bit. Let's say I, I do one dB, right? Because we wanna make sure we're not getting over there. Let's see if that makes a difference. So we could see it start to kick in there a little bit and help prevent the peaking. Now, if we say boosted it up, made it a little bit louder there, just so we could really see it working. Here's what that looks like. And we are getting a little distortion there. So obviously that's too loud. I wouldn't want to do that. But the soft clipper here is a great way just to make sure it grabs any of those parts that might get a little bit too loud. Now, if you find that the low end is giving you a little too much there or it's uh, peaking out a little bit, you know, we did see on our meters down here that there is a little bit of uh, clipping there. And that's just in the very low end. So what we can do to kind of help mitigate that is close our soft clipper, 
and then come into our dynamics compressor and maybe we just throw just a little bit of compression on there, right? We can just bring this up, maybe a ratio of three, bring it back to maybe minus three dB and see how that helps. So you can see we're still getting a little bit of a peaking and distortion there. But the other thing we can do with our dynamics here is kind of reduce the whole dynamic range of everything as a whole little bit. And in order to do that, I might just boost this up a little bit to make the quiet parts a little louder and then bring down my threshold a little bit. Let's say, I don't know, maybe minus 8.2. Maybe bring our threshold back even more. And I think that's working out pretty good. So even if we come back farther now and listen from the beginning, we're going to see where our line plots here on our loudness levels and kind of see how it's working out. Now we do notice that our integrated up here is a little high. So you know what? I'm just going to come to my bus one. Reset that back down. Just going to reset this and hit start again. And let's see where we're at. So overall, I think that's pretty good. Our levels look like they're in a good spot for our overall loudness. We've sweetened it up a little bit by adding a little bit of low end, a little bit of top end. Uh, now it's going to vary on your particular video and how you can make the changes, how much you can add to you know the EQ, for example. It does take a little bit of trial and error to make sure that everything is in the right spot, it's sounding good, and it's exactly how you want it. So do you master the audio in your videos? Let me know, comment down below. I wanna know if you've ever done any mastering on any of your videos, because if you aren't, you should. You could just do that little bit of checking the overall levels for the platform you're uploading to, sweeten it up just a touch, even if it's only music and talking head stuff. You can still sweeten it up just a little bit. If you've got questions on the mastering process or other ways to do things, or you have other thoughts, feel free to drop a comment down below. A big thank you to Artlist for sponsoring today's video. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.